of Oklahoma Collins Creatures. This is a container of woolly bear caterpillars my dad collected over the past week and just in time for the winter solstice. In this video, I'm going to discuss whether woolly bears can predict the severity of the winter. And I have this thing about caterpillars that I just absolutely hate them. I feel sick looking at them. So what, even though I can hold tarantulas, scorpions, and other animals people will be afraid of, I just cannot stand caterpillars, so I won't be appearing much in this video. There are several species of woolly bear caterpillars, but I believe these ones are the larval stage of the Pyrharctia isabella, also known as the isabella tiger moth. They have 13 body segments that are usually covered with reddish-brown hair in their mid-regions and black hair in their anterior and posterior areas. They are found from far northern Canada, throughout the United States, and down to Mexico. And for a diet, they eat almost all plants. When winter arrives, they hibernate in their caterpillar form, which you see here. They produce a cryoprotectant, which prevents freezing of their body. When spring arrives, they pupate and then emerge as the adult Isabella tiger moth. Adults are generally dull yellow to orange and have robust, scaly thoraces, small heads, and bright reddish-orange forelegs. Their wings have sparse black spotting and their wingspan is about 2 inches. They do not feed as adults and only exist to find a mate and reproduce. They are nocturnal, so despite being common and abundant, they are not generally seen as adults. Now let's into the three myths about predicting the winter. The first one is the amount of woolly bears can predict their severity. The more woolly bears equals a more severe winter, but this probably is a reflection to the prior winter and summer conditions. The second myth, and the dumbest of them, is the direction that they are going predicts the winter severity. If they're going south, there's going to be a more severe winter. But seriously, how far is a woolly bear going to get? And the third and most commonly believed myth is that the width of the red and black bands can predict the winter severity. The myth is the wider the black band, the more severe the winter will be, and the wider the red band, the less severe the winter will be. In addition, the 13 segments are supposed to reflect the 13 weeks of winter, and the color of each segment represents one week of the upcoming winter. In this example, the caterpillar has 5 bands of red and 8 bands of black, which predicts there will be 5 mild weeks and 8 harsh weeks. But the banding more accurately reflects the growing season, as the more molts the caterpillar goes through, the wider the red band gets. As you can see from the variability of the caterpillars I have here, the predictions are all over the place. Science has shown there's no correlation between any of the myths and the winter severity. You might as well have a Pennsylvanian groundhog predict the length of the winter. But these myths are so kind of fun to go with, and based off the caterpillars we have here, we're in for a mild winter. So I'm going to let these guys go to finish their preparations for hibernation and turn into something that's a little bit less disgusting for me in the spring. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see some on Collins Creatures.